Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chom here and welcome back to another Duel Links video. Today, I'm going to show you guys the farm deck that I've been using to farm Super Chaz in the most recent Super Chaz event in August 2018. Now, as you guys can see here today, we are using a Dark Paladin farm deck. And this is mostly because Chaz makes a lot of his plays with spell cards. And Dark Paladin can not only negate those spell cards, but he also gets a bunch of attack because of the amount of dragons that Chaz uses. So, of course, what you want to do with this deck is you want to start off by getting Dark Paladin on the field as soon as possible. Now, if like me with your starting hand, you're not able to get Dark Paladin out, just play it slow and don't even play any cards. I want to keep my Buster Blader and my King of the Swamp in hand so I can fuse next turn. And with this deck, we're running the skill Fusion Time. So once you take enough damage, 1500 or 1800 if you're using a different character, you're actually able to draw Polymerization from outside your deck. So that's our play that we make right now. You guys can see Chaz is doing some really, really crazy stuff. He's honestly just popping off summoning Arm Dragon level 7 on us turn 1. And as scary as that might sound, that actually isn't a problem because of the fact that Dark Paladin can get so big. So once he gets his Arm Dragon level 7 out, he's going to do some more stuff, pop our field and attack us directly. But all the damage he dealt is actually great for us because it means, like I said, we can get polymerization from outside our deck during our draw phase. So it comes back to our turn, it is our draw phase, and we're going to use Fusion Time to add that to our hand. And now that we've done that, we can activate polymerization and Fusion Summon for Dark Paladin. Now ideally, you don't want to have a hand like I do where you can't afford to discard any cards, but it's okay, get Dark Paladin on the field and hope you don't have to discard anything for the next turn. As you guys can see, um, Chaz actually goes for his turn and puts his monster in defense position. And while I wouldn't normally recommend it, I destroy Arm Dragon level 7 just so he can't summon Arm Dragon level 10. And from here on out, it's basically just draw, end, draw, end, draw, end, and negating his spell cards whenever necessary. As we go through it, you guys can see I'm using various spell cards to actually search for different cards from my deck to my hand. This, of course, is super useful so that way you can get to the end of the duel faster, meaning that Chaz has less time to use his plays. Now, right here, you guys can see Chaz activates his most powerful spell card, Lightning Vortex, which can destroy my entire field of monsters. However, because of Dark Paladin, we're able to negate this by discarding a card, and no more Lightning Vortex means we have no more problems. And once again, it's literally just draw and draw and of both of our parts, and so if we speed up through this, we'll get to the end game very, very quickly. Alright, so one more thing you'll notice as we go through this replay is that I summon a second Dark Paladin. Having two Dark Paladin isn't actually necessary for this deck. Instead, you can summon something much easier like Dark Flare Knight, which requires Dark Magician and Flame Swordsman. But of course, this Flame Swordsman can be substituted by using a fusion substitute such as King of the Swamp. And once you have your two fusion monsters in the field, you're good to go. Now, once we get to our final turn, as always, we want to summon our Grave Keeper's Vassal in attack position and use our various spell cards to buff him up. So first of all, start off with Secret Passage so he can attack directly, and then use our two Union Attacks so he gains the attack of our two other Dark Paladins, making him very, very powerful. In this instance, over 20,000 attack. Then we're going to go into our Battle Phase and attack directly for game, and that is going to give us a butt-ton of assessment points and, of course, a butt-ton of drops, which means the most optimal farm. So... As you guys can see here, this is how I've been farming Super Chaz in this most recent event. The deck is very, very powerful. I really love it. The consistency is great. It's able to make plays if you aren't able to get Paladin on the field turn one. I think it's really useful. If you guys don't happen to have Dark Paladin, there are other options for you guys. Maybe check out something like Wing Dragon Ra Farm or stuff like that. That should hopefully be very handy for you. Either way, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And of course, if you guys want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links content in the future, hit that subscribe button also, because there'll be plenty more Duel Links videos coming very, very soon. Either way, I want to thank you for watching. hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.